look at him, you know, you know, I laugh when the guy talk about uh, this guy is nervous. Man, listen, I'm trying to tell you guys, I'm Floyd Mayweather, I'm never nervous. I'm not scared of no fighter, man. To me, like I told you before, uh, weight doesn't win fights and fame doesn't win fights. I mean, I'm smart, I'm intelligent, I'm strong, and it's like they, everybody always talking about Oscar got a good left hook. Well, Floyd Mayweather has a good left hook, a good right hand, can be good with both hands to the body, and got the, and got the best defense in boxing. Can beat you on the inside, can beat you on the outside, can out slug you, and and and, 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 and counter punch and beat you. So, you know, like I said before, it's not it's not by it's not by one hand, and it's not by weight. It's about it's about smarts. The fatigue that he showed when the, with, with, with other fighters when he, that he fought, he can't do that with me. If you, if you come out and burn yourself out early, no matter what he say, no matter what he tell you guys, that's just going to be his ass because I'm going to fight hard as hell. And then he know I can fight hard. Go back and look at my tapes. I, I never show no sign of weakness. Anytime any guy hit me, I'm human. It's like this. He showed that he can go down. He been hit on the chin and then dropped more than once. I been hit on the chin, you know. I'm only human. If I've been off a, a, a long period of time, I can get hit and, you know, I can take a little a little shake because, you know, I've been off a while. I'm a little rusty. Things happen. But one thing you got to realize this. I can give it and I can take it. And I, and I got a, a hell of a knockout ratio. And, and I feel that's what's going to be the surprise. That's going to be a surprise to Oscar. May fit my punching power, and, uh, and and like I said before, a, a lot of times, a lot of been, it's been a lot of guys I beat off just skills because you know my hands didn't my my hands didn't hold up, but you know May fit my hands are strong. I've been going through hand therapy, and I feel good. Um, got two, you got two, uh, two of the like I said before, you got two of the you got the two best fighters. Of our air, the two best fighters of our air, I said, and excitement. Um, Oscar De La Hoya has had an, a very exciting career. I've had a very exciting career. I mean, and um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a hell of a fight, man. I, there's nothing else I can say. I mean, I, I didn't, you know, I we just I, we just sold we just sold out the tickets. I'm pretty sure Close Circuit is gonna sell out. Everybody is anticipating this fight, and I'm the type of fighter. I'm just, like when I say I'm real, I'm real. This guy, everything this guy wanted on his terms, I gave it to him. I'm still gonna beat him on his terms. Um, I'm not even worried about that. I mean, I feel that, uh, I, like I said before, I don't want to. Uh, I, I don't want to be treated like Cortez, and I don't want to be treated like Fernando Whitaker. Now, Pernell Whitaker did beat Oscar De La Hoya, and Oscar De La Hoya is a real fighter. And Oscar De La Hoya understands that he knew he got beat by Pernell Whitaker. Oscar knows he got beat by Ike Corte. But, and Oscar knows he got beat by Felix Stern. You know, but, you know, I call it a spade over spade. And, you, you know, call it what, Floyd? I call it a spade over spade. And I'm saying that Oscar did beat Felix Trinidad. I'm honest. You know, like I said before, I'm an honest fighter. I have no reason to lie. He really did beat Trinidad, and he got a bad decision. So, you know, I feel that um, May said, I just want, like I said before, I just want to be treated fair. That's it. Don't judge me for my trash talking. Judge me for, judge me for how I do my job. Um, but like I said before, the Nevada Commission is the best commission in the world, okay? And I'm not just saying that because I live in Nevada. I mean, they, because they, they, have, they have always treated me fair. Nevada Commission has always treated me fair. And I know May said it'd be the same thing. I'm not, you know, I'm not really worried about um, them treating me fair. I just want to go, I'm going to go out there and do what I got to do, and that's, that's to be the best for me. Well, they're going to treat me fair. I'm not worried because it, it, it is, we, we, you have two guys, you have two decorated champions, not just one, two decorated champions. That's why it's the biggest fight in boxing history, and that's why this fight sold off so quick, because it takes two. And, 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 you know, you always hear people saying, oh, Oscar, you know, Oscar is a draw. You know, guess what? It takes two. And he, he, he didn't do this fight. He didn't do this with Trinidad. Matter of fact, he didn't do this with None of, none of his other opponents. So it, t it took two. So Mayweather and De La Hoy both is a draw.
I mean, I had, I feel I had, I have nothing else to prove in this sport. I done what I had to do. I beat, like I said before, from 130 all the way to 54. I feel I beat the best that they put in front of me. I mean, I'm comfortable. I mean, I made, a, like I said before, I made a lot of money in the sport. I mean, I'm happy. My kids are happy. These are the valuable life. These are the valuable years of my kids' life. I'm gonna spend a lot of time with my kids. Uh, uh, work on, you know, take my promotion company to to the next level. You know, someday I feel that I'm mean, Asha. Oscar is going to be competing again in the future. Not just in the ring as of right now, but we're going to be competing as far as promoters. It's not going to be like, um, I feel it's not going to be like Bob Irwin and Don King. So hopefully we can have a, a lot better relationship. When I say a lot better relationship, you know, as far as, you know, when we see each other, we shake hands, smile, go out to eat, and put big fights together. And now when we turn our backs, we like, you know, I hate him or I hate Floyd Mayweather. I understand that it's a business. And I understand what I have to do, you know, in my in my you know May fifth. That's my job, and um and I'm the best at going out there putting on the gloves. One thing you can't take away from Floyd Mayweather. One thing that I can do, I can fight. Uh, well, actually, uh, how many fifty cent met was um I was gonna you know uh, I was gonna uh, get involved and get involved with fifty cent. Before he got on, before he got with Eminem, so we're we're in Puerto Rico together, hanging out for this um for this music function. We're in Puerto Rico hanging out. We hit it off in Puerto Rico. That was like seven years ago, eight years ago. We hit we hit it off in Puerto Rico. We hung out. We kicked it. And ever since then, we you know he'd be on my house all the time. Oh, he's always in my house. But we always we always somewhere together. If it's L. A. New York, here we go out to eat together. I mean, we be in where he's like he's like one of my regular my regular friends, and um, we we don't we don't just club. Actually, that that what you seen on uh, on twenty four seven was me and Fifty Cent at my birthday party. So it wasn't us just clubbing. That was Fifty Cent at my birthday party because when we was going on tour, when me and Oscar was on tour, half the tour got cut short, so I can come home and have a birthday party. And Fifty Cent was you know the main guest at my birthday party. We had a big dinner. Me, my mother, my whole family had a big dinner. And uh, we have fun.